Come on in, everyone. Let's go ahead and give the Lord praise today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. You're so wonderful, Jesus. We give you praise, honor, glory. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise your holy name, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, you're so wonderful, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We just humble ourselves, God. And God, we just ask you, God, to continue to draw us close to you, Father. Lord, uh, get anything out of us that's not of you, Father, God. God, we just uproot any demonic seed the enemy tried to plant it in us in the nighttime hour. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we just uproot every demonic seed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, we ask you today to renew our minds, God, and just create a steadfast spirit within us, Lord. And, God, I ask you to create in us a pure heart in the name of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, protect us, God, as we get ready to pray and, in, and enter into your presence, God. God, protect us, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, we decree and declare no weapon for and against us will prosper in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, I just ask you, God, just to have your way today on this line. God, someone on here, God, is hurting. Someone on here, God, is just going through right now, God. Someone on here, God, is crying out to hear you, Father. Someone on here, God, is saying, Lord, I need to hear you, Father. I need to hear your voice, God. I need to feel your presence, God. So, Lord, I ask you today, God, to speak to us, God. Get any just clutter out of our spirit, man, God. Get any just clutter out of our uh, ear canal, God, so we can hear you, Father. God, get anything out of us, God, that's per- uh, that's blocking us to just go deeper, God, in you, Father. We come against distractions today, God. We just come against, Lord God, those things, these besetting sins that would try to hinder us or pull us backwards, God. We break every demonic stronghold and every demonic attachment right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, we thank you, Father. You are so powerful, God. You are more powerful than the enemy, Lord. So, God, we thank you, Father God, that your voice is loud and thunderous, Lord. We can hear you, God, over the storms in this life, God. So, Lord, bless us not to get distracted about what we're going through. So many people are just going through, God. So many people, God, are hurting and broken. And, God, I ask you today, God, to pour out your spirit, Lord, afresh. Pour out your fire, God, afresh, God. Pour out upon each and every one of us, God. Draw us back to that secret place, Father. Draw us back, God, to that closet, Father. Of the prayer closet, God. Draw us, God, back to that place of falling in love, God, with our first love, God. Draw us back to that place, God, when we just couldn't get enough for you, Father. We were hungering and thirsting after righteousness so we can be filled, Lord. So, God, I pray that we will not be just uh, distracted by the cares of this life or the cares of this world, God. That we just focus on Jesus. That we focus on the cross of Calvary. That we focus on you, Father. Because we know, Father God, that it's worth it all. The suffering, the pain, that some of us are going through, it's worth it just to get to know Christ. And, Lord, just to get to know you, God, it's worth it. Some of us, God, been through so much, God, and you know what we've gone through, God, in this pandemic alone. Some of us lost family, uh, loved ones, God. Some of us lost our jobs. Some of us lost things, God, because of the adverse weather conditions, Lord. But, God, we know that you, God, are a great provider, a great compensator, God, a great deliverer, a great healer, a great comforter, Lord. So, God, we know that Lord, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And God, give someone, God, a morning season on this line today. In the name of Jesus, God, comfort your people, God. Those that have been crying, God. Those that have been suffering, Lord. Those that are getting ready to quit and throw in the towel, Lord. I ask you, God, to touch them now, God. Don't let them quit, God. Don't let them give up, God. Give them strength to their body now, God. Give them comfort to their soul, Lord. We come against anxiety, God, on this thing today. We come against being anxious today, Father. We come against depression today, God. We come against discouragement today, God. We come against demonic attacks on our minds, God. We come against demonic attacks on our emotions, Lord. And God, strengthen us today, God. God, if you don't show up, God, nothing will happen, Lord. Some of us are tired, God. Some of us are working so hard and just working for a long time, God. And some of us are wondering, God, when and why and how long, God. And God, I ask you to give your people clarity today. 
today, God. Give them, God, a word from heaven today, Lord. Let them know that you are real, Father. Let them know that you are on the scene and you are about your business, Lord. Let them know, God, that you're about to show up and show out, God, on behalf of your people, God. God, so many people, God, today, God, they need so much from you, Lord. They can't go on and continue like this in the storm, in the pain, God. Somebody on here is festering, God, in the anger, in the pain, in the turmoil, God, and they need you, Lord. They need to hear your voice, God. They need a word from heaven today. They need to know that you have heard their prayers, their supplications, God. They need to know, Father God, that you are a God that you cannot lie, God, that you are the spirit of truth. And, God, we thank you that today we're going to encounter the spirit of truth, that we're going to know that you have spoken, God, and, God, we're going to hold on no matter what. We're not going to get weary in well-doing, God. We're going to keep holding on, God. So, God, we know that Jesus, his name is matchless. No other name can compare to his name or match to his name. We know that the devil that's trying to harass us or trying to come up at us, Lord, that he's defeated. And, God, we know, Father God, that nothing is too hard for you. We know, Father God, that nothing is impossible for you, Father. So, God, no matter what it looks like, I prophesy we walk by faith and not by sight, Lord. So because we're walking in faith, Lord, we're going to speak to those mountains in our lives, and we need to speak to those mountains. If it's financial, if it's you know, marital, if it's relationship, if it's, you know, just healing, whatever it is, God, if it's debt, we're going to speak to those mountains, and we're going to command it to be removed and to be cast into the sea in the name of Jesus. Lord, we use our faith today. Some reason I'm seeing an arm, and I'm seeing like, um, I don't know if you're a diabetic, or I don't know if, you know, the doctors talk about, like, amputating your arm or something like that. See, like an amputee, an amputee or something like that, someone that <clears throat> their arm is cut off or something. And I just come against all demonic plots and ploys to cut your arm off or for, uh, for you to lose your limbs. I, I decree and declare that you won't get cut on. You will not lose your limbs. If you have diabetes, I speak over you right now. In Jesus' name, I command you to be healed. In Jesus' name, God's in your fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we bind up the just the enemy from trying to steal this person's limb in Jesus' name, God. Let them keep all the limbs in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, fix the circulation, God. God, boost the immune system up right now in the name of Jesus. Christ, yeah, that he shit in And one of the things that I'm seeing, I'm seeing like somebody that's smoking, uh, and uh, I see like cancer in the lungs, and I just come against cancer. I come against uh, growth and tumors and uh, blackening of the lungs, tar in your lungs. I curse that now in Jesus' name, and I command healing in your lungs. Even if you smoke, I, I curse that diagnosis now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, I ask you to touch this individual lungs right now for your glory, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, we decree and declare no sickness will come upon us. No weapon will form against us. I don't care what the enemy's plotting and scheming, God. Keep us now in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, I thank you, Father God, that, God, you give us hope, God. Give us hope. Give us hope. Let something great happen today for your people, God. God, give them a sign, God. Let them know that you have heard, God, their prayers. Let them know, God, that you have heard the supplications. Let them know, God, that your voice is upon the waters, and the God of glory thunders, and the Lord is upon many waters. It doesn't matter what storms are uh, we're up against in, uh, in right now, God. We know, God, that, God, when you speak a word, it settles it. When you speak a word, because you are the God. You are the creator, God. You created heavens and earth, God. You created us, God. We are handiwork, Father. God, we thank you, Father God. We are your masterpiece, God. We thank you, Father God, that your thoughts of us are more numerous than the sand uh, on the the, 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 sh- the, the shores, Father. We know, God, that our names are written in the palm of your hand. We know that we are the apple of your eye, God. So, God, we know that you have something great in store for us. Come on, God, have something great in store for you. I know it may not feel like it, and I know it may not seem like it, but you got to get a hold of this word today, all right? And I want to prophesy that God is going to cause a great calm of that storm in your life. Some of you guys, you've been through so much hell and back. You've been through the trials and the, the tribulations, the until of the fire has literally increased for some of you guys. Well, I want you to know today that God is getting ready to come. 
from that storm. God is getting ready to cease. Come on. He's going to put some water on those flames. Amen. To cease that flame. To cease that trial. You're coming out this thing. You better come out. I know it was tough. Amen. But I want to decree and declare supernatural healing in your emotions. Supernatural healing in your heart. God is going to give you the strength to hold on, to endure this thing, to press through. You're going to come out with power. You're going to come out with some glory as never before in your life. God's going to open up doors and no man can shut for you. Come on, in the name of Jesus. I feel somebody on here. You got some kind of nerve pain or something in the right side of your jaw. You're lying or something is going on like a shock, like a nerve shock. It's a bit like electricity or a shock and your nerves, and I just come against the, the nerve, uh, the nervous system backfiring, God. In the name of Jesus, God, I touch them now, God. Heal them now, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we just come against the stress, God, that will try to come up against us when it comes to paying bills. Lord, God, right now, Lord, I pray that you just touch every individual. Touch every fi- touch our finances, God. God, breathe on our finances, God. Let every bill be paid on time, God. Let every bill be paid on time in the name of Jesus Christ. And, God, I don't care for in the pandemic. I don't care if they say the economic system, God, ain't doing well or it's going to crash or the stock market ain't doing right, God. God, we depend on you, Father God. God, we look to you, God. We look to the hills which our help come from, Lord. God, we depend on you, Lord. So, God, I thank you, Father God, that money will never be an issue, Lord. I thank you, Father God, that you, God, will supply all of our needs according to your riches and your glory and through Christ Jesus. So I decree that, God. I come against financial attacks, God. God, I decree and declare financial breakthroughs, God. God, I decree and declare, God. If an insurance company, God, owes us money, God, I decree and declare a supernatural release for those funds to be released right now in the name of Jesus. I come against instability. I come against financial hardships, God. And God, I decree and declare that the demonic cycle is broken off of your people's life. That the demonic cycle is broken off of your people's life in Jesus' name. God, I ask you, God, to breathe on our businesses, God. God, give us favor, God. Put an anointing on our businesses, God. God, we are your children, Lord. And God, we thank you, God, for sending the replacements. We are the replacements for some of these people in the secular realm, God, in the secular arena in these these, uh, businesses, God. Lord God, on those careers, Father. So, God, I thank you you, that God is raising us up to be replacement, Lord. God, it's not your will, Father God, for a man to dress like a woman. God, I'm going to shit in me. It's not your will, Father God, Lord, for the perverse spirit to be running rampant, even in the church. God, so God, we thank you that we have an ear to hear what you're saying, Lord, that we'll be obedient, God. We'll step out of our comfort zone. We're not going to worry where the finance is going to come from. We're just going to go do it, Lord, whatever you're telling us to do. God, if it's music, God, we're going to do it, God. If it's, Father God, if it's entertainment, we're going to do it, God. If it's education, we're going to do it, God. If it's business, we're going to do it. Whatever it is, God, if it's ministry, we're going to do it, God. If it's out of our comfort zone, we're going to do it, God. God, speak to us, God. Give us strength, God. Give us vision, God. Warn us, God, what the enemy's trying to do, God. Plot and scheme, God. Warn us now. In the name of Jesus, we come against uh, just being heavy. And come against heaviness in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody just cast your tears and shake off the heaviness. Shake it off. Shake it off. Come on, I know it don't feel good right now, but God, give your people peace. Give your people strength. You promised us peace. That's a path of all understanding. You promised us peace, God. So give us peace, God. We come against the, just that spirit of depression that will make us want to sleep around all day, sleep all day, God, and not get out the bed to not fix ourselves up, to not do anything, God. We come against fear in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you ain't give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind, Lord. So, God, we just come against, Lord, just any demonic interference. Mm, yes, about Adishi. God, send your fire, your fire, your fire, the Holy Spirit, right now to burn up every demonic interference, to burn up every demon that will try to block the prophecies that you have given us from coming to pass. God, 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 I thank you, Lord God, send your fire, your fire, your fire right now in Jesus' name, God, to burn up, Lord, every demonic stronghold that will try to come against our promise, Lord, in Jesus' name. God, 
God, we stand on your word, God. We stand on your promise, God. And God, we thank you, Father. Your word will come to pass, God. We thank you, Father God, that you are so faithful. God, you have not forgotten about us. God, you are not forgotten about us. You will never leave us, God. You will never forsake us, God. We are on your mind, God. You love us so much, God. You love us that you gave your only begotten son, God, for us. That's how much you love us, God. No parent, God, will want to sacrifice their own child, but you did that for us. So, God, there's no comparison of your love, God. God, we can't compare your love, God, because, Lord, your words, God, we can't put that in, in words, how much you love us, God. God, there's no death, God, uh, no, no, no height to explain your love that can separate us, God, from your love. Nothing can separate us, God, from your love. You love us so much, God. We're grateful. Somebody needs to know that your breakthrough is on the horizon. God, we thank you. Your break, our breakthrough, God, is on the horizon. Come on, you got to receive this word today. Come on, I know it don't look like it, but God is shining his glory in those gloomy clouds about the part. They're parting right now, and God's going to give you a sign, and he's going to give you a wonder. They know that he has heard your supplication today. Amen. And he's parting. Come on, he's parting that Red Sea in your life. He's parting. Come on. Come on, the dark clouds. He's going to illuminate the darkness in your life. Come on with his glory. Come on. I decree and declare light is shining. Come on, light shining at the end of the storm, at the end of the tunnel. Light is going to shine so brightly, and you're going to be able to inhale and exhale. You're going to be able to catch your breath. You're going to be able to come into a season of rest where you don't have to worry about the warfare. God's going to give you grace and he's going to bring you into a season of rest, a season where you re- get refreshed, get renewed, get rejuvenated, get restored, get your hope back, get your fight back. Amen. God's going to give you supernatural R&R. You're going to get renewed and you're going to get restored. You're going to get refreshed. You're going to get revived. You're going to get rejuvenated. I decree and I prophesy that in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you guys have been fighting so long. Amen. But God's going to bring you to a season I need you to receive this word in Jesus' name. Amen. And I decree and declare, come on, God's getting ready to speak. And all those storms, all that water, all that chaos is getting ready to cease in the name of Jesus. Come on. Amen. God is faithful. And he is mindful of each and every one Amen. of us. He's so faithful. God sees what you're going through. God sees your spouse acting crazy. God sees your children acting a fool. God sees that warfare on your job. God sees the financial struggle. God sees the dry season. God sees you working hard and nothing is happening right now, but God is so faithful. He's going to fulfill the promise. He's not flat concerning his promises. You need to receive this word. God said you're going to be a multi-millionaire yes. for some of you guys. God Amen. I Lord. receive it. God said he's going to deliver. Amen. God said he's going to open up yes. doors. God said he's going to open up the heavens. You better receive it. He I is mindful it. of you. I receive God it. didn't bring you this far for nothing. God it. didn't, he's not going to leave you high and dry. God didn't bring yes. you more in this in this right here for nothing. Come on, you are in the mind of God. God has something great in store for you. God Amen. is in his word right now to encourage you. It's not over. Amen. It is not over. Amen. It is not over. I know you're Thank just you. getting started. We're not going to despise small beginnings. Come on. Some no, of us, we, we only got one person following us. Some of us don't got nobody listening to us, but it's okay. Come on, because that's not where we're going. It's just a step in right. God has greater. Amen. God has more. God, we thank Amen. you, God, that your word always prevails, thank God. You, your word always prevails, God, no matter what it looks yes, like. Yes, I don't Lord. care if it's dry right now. Some of us don't have furniture. Some of us don't have food. Some of us, yes. we don't have what we were leaving to have. But the word of God prevails. And we call that stuff that we need right now for. Right now, whatever you need from heaven, we call it for. Right now in Jesus' yes, name. Come on. Mm-hmm. If you need a certain amount of money, we call it forth. Right now, I need my equipment, so I'm I calling call it, it forth, forth in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Come on. Amen. You need, come on, forth. doors, opportunity, resources, call it forth. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to get my equipment before the end of this year. I got some movies to produce. I don't know about you. Come on. But God already spoke to me, and I'm going to go ahead and be a movie producer for the glory of God. Amen. I Amen. To today. Amen. But call that stuff forth, whatever you need, in Jesus' name. Yes. Call it Amen. forth. Come on. Call the seeds forth. Call it mm-hmm. forth. Come on. I prophesy, come on, my books, my products will be, come on, in the stores, in the name of Jesus Christ, come on, call it for, prophesy, I prophesy, call it for everything yourself. that's connected on, to me, in Jesus' for. name, come amen, come on, call it for, come on, I prophesy, we're going to be going from overlooked to overbooked in the name of Jesus, we're going to go, come on, overlooked to overbooked, come on, our gifts are making room for us, I prophesy amen. that, in the name of Jesus Christ, God's going to put our gifts in, on demand, and then somebody embedded in church. 
God, yes, Lord. Ready for the season because you're about to be busy. Come on, I don't know about you. Come on, but I'm, I'm busy already. We're about to be super busy, and I prophesy we're going to have to get ready to delegate. We're going to get ready, come on, to just raise up and train up others because we're going to be so busy for the things of God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I decree that in our lives. Come on, I decree and declare supernatural peace is coming. Supernatural joy is coming. God, yes. yeah, give it to them, God, mm-hmm. right now. Pour out upon your people, God. God, for those Thank you, Jesus. Crying, God, comfort them, God. Hallelujah. For those that says, God, enough is enough. I can't take this anymore, God. You got to show up, God. God, touch yes, them yes. now, God. For those God on here, yes. God, that are struggling with their self uh, image or their self worth, God, heal them now, God. For those on here, yes. their metabolism is jacked up, God. Touch our metabolism, God, now, God. God causes a new supernatural weight, God. God, for those on here that need surgery, God, bless Thank them, you, God, right now, God. Lord, for their upcoming surgery date, God. God, we come against complications, God. We come against sickness and disease, God. God, touch the surgeon's hands in advance, God. For those, God, that are on a wait list, God, for something, a wait, a wait list, God. God, I ask you to come to acceleration, Lord. Don't let them be delayed or hindered any longer, Father. God, I thank you, Lord, God, that you're yes, Lord. moving, Lord. For those that need things fixed in their lives, if it's a vehicle, if it's things, an appliance, whatever it is, God, fix it, God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, some, uh, somebody on here is going through so much, so much, this stronghold. He said, God, I'm tired of fasting. God, I'm tired of praying about this situation. Lord, I ask you to move right now because, God, we have sown in tears, God. God, since you said we sown in tears, we're about to reap songs of joy, Lord. God, we have sown in prayer. We have sown in fasting. And, God, we know that you hear the prayers of the earth, right? In the, the, uh, the, they are your delight. Our prayers are your, uh, your delight, God. And, God, you show me, Father, God, the prayers of the saints are going up into heaven. God, like incense. God, like fragrance in your nostrils. God, God, it's a sweet aroma, God. The prayers of the saints are collected. God, come on. And this beautiful golden bowl, God, in heaven, God. So, God, I ask you right now, God, right now to remember, to move. We put you back in remembrance of the prayers that we prayed over our family, over our children, over our loved ones, God. Right now, God, and to move, Father, save the Deliver, rescue, Father. God, we're going to hold on. I need to tell somebody today, you got to hold on, boo. Hold on. I know you right now. It seems like you're in the midst of the storm. The, 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 the seas are raging against you. The storm, come on, it's raining hard. It's pouring hard. It's pouring mm-hmm. cats and dogs. But I need you to hold on to the promise. I need you to hold on and say, no, nah, God told mm-hmm. me this. I'm going to hold on. I know people trying to mock me, persecute me, talk about me like a dog head and I'm crazy, but I'm going to have the last laugh. And somebody needs to know that you're going to have the last laugh. Holy Spirit today, in the name of Jesus, I know you went through so much. I know that, you know, you had unexpected things rise up, some stuff that happened that were out of your control, but you're going to have the last laugh. Come on. You're going to have the last laugh. Your faith has been tested. Your faith has been tried. You didn't doubt God. You didn't You didn't waver in your faith. You didn't be double-minded. And you're getting ready to be rewarded, so keep holding on. Keep holding bless on. Bless you, God. Bless you. Keep holding you, on. Come on. I need you to believe the words. God spoke Amen. over you. I need you to believe the words. Come on. I need you to believe the words. The crazy people with the crazy faith are getting ready to have the miracles, getting ready to have the signs, getting ready to have the breakthrough. Come on. People said you need to go to work, but God said, no, I'm calling you off your job, and people mocked you. People said, hey, that's never going to work. But you said, nope, God's going to show up and show out, and you're getting ready to have the promise. You're getting ready to have the breakthrough. You're getting ready to have the Thank victory you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. I decree and declare God is speaking. Come on, God, speak like thunder. Your voice is like thunder from yes. heaven, God. Yes, when you God. speak, God, creation, listen. When you speak, God, yes. I pray that we have an ear to hear what you're saying. When you speak, God, all the hell has to cease. All the hell has yes. to back up, God. I prophesy yes. right now that the gates of hell will not be able to prevail against this. Yes. Against, yes. Our, yes. against our ministries, against our businesses, against our families, against our destinies in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank yes. you, Father God. Your voice it's resounded. Your voice is powerful. His voice is like fire. Come on, I even see fire falling from heaven. Fire falling from heaven. Yeah, strike thank the you, fire. Man. Come on, strike the fire. God burn up the money to text. Fire, fire, burn the money to text the strongholds. Fire, fire. Right now in Jesus' name, your voice is like fire, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father God. Mm. God. Watch and see what you're gonna say, God. Your voice is like thunder. Your voice is like 
fire. Your voice is so powerful. I feel your presence now, God. God, I thank you, Father God, right now, God. Lord, I thank you, Lord. When you open your mouth, God, come on. All, you got all the heaven and earth attention, God, in the name of Jesus. God, you got our attention, Lord. And the storm has to cease in Jesus' name. It has to respond to your voice. Yes, come Lord. On. God, Rashi, Rashi. the storm you're going through has to respond to God's voice. I decree it now. The storm, the trial, the demonic the, the, the attacks against you, has to, come on, bow down. Come on, it's a bow down. It's a bow down. It's a bow down. Come on, we are children of the Most High God. We are children of the Most High God. We're not going to settle. Come on, we're not going to back down. God, I thank you for speaking. I thank you, God, for giving a command. I thank you, Father God, right now that your voice is uh, is speaking. And hell has to back down in Jesus' name. Come on, you got to receive this word today. God, I thank, thank you. Hallelujah. I the voice it. of the Lord is a ruined sound. It's a ruined sound. Come on, it's powerful. It, in Jesus name. it is powerful. Yes, it is powerful. It's more powerful than I anything the devil can Jesus ever name. say or do. Come on. Yes. It, his voice is so powerful. Come on. Yes. God say you're blessed. You're blessed. We're blessed. God say to bless you financially. That's it. Come on, the money's about to manifest. God said, restore this marriage. Come on, the marriage is getting ready to be restored. God said, this year you'll find your spouse, and that's what's going to happen. Yes, God Lord. said, this year we're going to get that house, that job, that promotion. That's what's going to happen. God said, you are healed. Come on, and that's what's going to happen. God said, you're going to live. Then that's what's going to happen. God said, come on, it's about to launch off and take off. Come on, increase. It's going to happen. God said, you're going to be expanded. It's going come to on. happen. In the name of Jesus, God, I it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus, it's going to happen. Lord, I thank you, Father God. God, don't restrain the lightning. God, come on. When your voice resounds, God, your voice is so powerful. Come on, his voice is like lightning. His voice is like lightning. It just gets everything in his way. Come on, it gets the bullseye every time. It's so strategic. Come on, it's so accurate. Come on, God knows how to speak. God knows how to deliver the red, the godly from trials. God knows how what you need. God knows how to take care of you. God knows how to provide. Come on, I decree and declare. Come on, his voice. Thunders wonders, wonderfully with his voice. God thunders wonderfully with his voice. He does great things which you cannot comprehend. And I want to prophesy that in our life. God's going to do something so great. It's going to make your mind spin. Get ready for a mind spinning miracle, for a mind blowing miracle. God is getting ready to do something so great you can't even comprehend. And the people around you are not going to be, be comp- not going to even be able to comprehend it. Some people on, you know, God, and then she connected. They're going to touch their hand. Like I just don't know. Come on, it's going to be all God. It's going to be all God. None of us. Do Come it, on. God. All of God. All of God. None of us. Somebody on here, you're just in this impossible yes. situation. Uh, God's about to do something so great in your life that you're not going to be able to comprehend it. You have so many things stacked up against you. Your credit bad, you know, so many denials, so much going on. But God's about to do something in your life that you can't comprehend, and he's going to get all the glory. He's going to get all the praise. He's going to get all the honor. He's about to get all the worship. My God, you thought you were worshiping God while you're broken. You're really about to go worship God because when God's getting ready to do it, you're going to fall down to your, your knees, fall on your face. The tears are going to fall from your eyes. Yes. You're going to make you, a Lord. wail. You're going to make a cry because God's going to be yes, you, you don't care who's yes. looking at you. You don't care what people got to say. You got to say, you know what? I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to praise my God. Some of you guys are going to be in Walmart and get the Ah, the miracle, the miracle, the manifestation. Some of you guys going to be in the middle mm-hmm. of the workplace. Some of you guys going to yes, be Lord. in the middle of traffic, and you just got to pull over and give God the praise. Some of you guys going to be on the phone, and you got to say, I don't care if I'm on the phone with a telemarketer, a customer service app. I'm going to give God the praise. Come on. I decree and declare God's going to do something so great in your life. You can't come to You're not going to be ashamed. You're not going to be embarrassed. Mm-hmm. You're going to testify. You're going to say, you know what? You don't know my pain. You don't know my strength. Struggle. I don't care if you look at me. I don't care if you find out that I was homeless. I don't care if you find out I was yes, living in a stuff at home. I don't care if you yes. find out if this happened, my marriage was broken, but God was 
for my marriage. I'm talking to somebody. I don't care what you think. I got to give mm-hmm. praise to my God. Somebody about to testify publicly of all the hell you went through for the last couple of yes, months. Lord. My God. Somebody, come on. Somebody about to receive this word. Because God is about to do something so great in your life that you can't comprehend. God's about to deliver your family member that's been bound. Amen. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. God's about to deliver oh, your family member, your oh. child that's in perversion, your child that's yes. in the same sex relationship, your child that's in yes. drugs. Your child that's demonized. Come on, God. Deliver and set these people free. Do it, Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Do it, Jesus. Come on. Come on. A breakthrough in your job. You've been going through so much on your job. So much. Your boss is demonized. You say, God, I don't know how long I'm dealing with a demonized person. My God. But that's why, come on, close the ship on your job, and only he's going to get the glory. And God, I thank you, Father God. Right now that your voice gives us strength in the storm, God. Come on, strength, God. Strength, God. Strength. Give us strength, God, in these storms. Give us strength, Lord. In the name of Jesus, give us yes, strength, Lord. God. Give us strength, Lord. Strength. You better receive this word. God's going to give you strength. Yes. strength. Amen. Amen. I receive it. You can't quit. We're in the same too deep to quit. We're in the same too deep. Come on. We're not going backwards. Yes, yes we we're are. We're not going to fall. Deep. We're not going to stumble. God is uh, mm-hmm. uh, 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 eradicating uh, every uh, demonic thing uh, the enemy is trying to do to cause us to stumble. Come on. We're not going to stumble. We're not going to go oh, backwards. God, uh, root carnality out of us. God, uh, root the out Jesus. of us. God, oh, out of Christ, oh, oh, we're not going to quit. Come on, I know so much is going on. He said, I got to do this to keep my sanity, but now we got to get back in the game. We got to get back in the fight. Amen. There's only so much Amen. Netflix you can watch. Come on. There's only so much crossword Amen. puzzles you can play or so many games Amen. on your phone you can play. Come on, we got to get back in yes, the game. Yes. Come on, and fight this good fight of faith. We got to get back. Come on, yes, and pray. Yes, we got to get back and study the word. We got to get back and see yes, the face yes, of God. Yes. We got to get back in the secret place. We yes. got to get back. Come on, in the name of Jesus. I speak straight. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We need this strength. For what's coming in this yes, earth, we, we need the strength of God. We need the strength. Come on, we need to be so strong in God, so rooted and grounded in God that God's going to use us. Come on, to save so many souls for those around us. Yes. God's going to use us with so much wisdom and counsel of the Lord in our mouths and even in our bellies. Come on, to pull people out of darkness. Come on, to transform yes, them into Lord. the marvelous light of, light of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that in our lives in Jesus' name. Come on, I Thank decree the class Psalms. 104 and 7, God, that after oh, rebuke, the waters fled. And somebody needs to know that God is rebuking the storm. God is rebuking the storm. Yes. God is rebuking oh, the storms in our life. God is rebuking oh, the waves in our life. God is rebuking the seas in our Hallelujah. raging seas and waters in our life. Come on. How do you yes, Lord. The Hallelujah. Of God's voice. At the sound of God's thunder, they're hurrying away. Come on. Yes. You, um, some of you guys, just get ready to brace yourself. you about to see God to show up and show up quickly. Come on, some of you guys are saying, God, how long? Hallelujah. How long, God? It's about to be so quick. So quick. So quick. Come on. So quick. If you just pray and fast, you just pray and seek his face. If you just shut in, my God, you just say, God, I'm not going to get up. I want to marry God. Come on, in the name of Jesus. I see someone on here. Yes, Lord. You got some kind of affection. Hallelujah. Skin infection. I don't know. It looks like pus in somebody's skin, some kind of affection. And I come against affection of the skin. I come against a pussy skin. I don't know if it's a ball or something, but I come against a skin infection, pus. I, 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 I break it off of you, and I command that thing to drain off of you and choose in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch them, God, now in Jesus' name. Come on. God, mm-hmm. God increase our immune system in Jesus' name. Lord, I just hear this prayer right now. Psalm 77, 16. Lord God, that when the water saw you, Father, they were afraid. Come on, the depths were also troubled. Come on. The enemy, he's shaking in his boots right now. Come on. The enemy, he's waving yes, a yes. white flag of surrender right now. Come on. The enemy that was an mm-hmm. assignment, destroy your marriage, destroy your ministry, destroy your yes, destiny and purpose. Come on. He's retreating now yes, in the yes. name of Jesus. The enemy that was assigned to harass you in the night yes. hour. Come on. He's, he's scared. Yes, yes. Right now, shaking in his boots in the name of Jesus. Uh, the go, enemy go, go. That in the name of Jesus. Attack your finances to attack your body. Come on. He's scared yes. in the name yes. of Jesus. He has to back up in now. The in the name of Jesus. Yes. Woo, I rush it. Come Thank on. You, God. God, Jesus Christ was the wind. He rebuked the sea, and it was a great calm. Somebody needs to receive this word. It's about to be a great calm in your life. You will say, yes. man, I got yes. so much Thank peace. Thank you, Lord. Come on. You got Thank peace. Thank you, Lord. You Hallelujah. Peace that surpasses all understanding. You're not going to even yes, understand Lord. it. Your family is not going to even understand it. The spectators yes. are not Hallelujah. going to be able to understand it. But all they're going to they don't understand. They're going to understand one thing. It was God. 
That's all they need to know. It's God. Yes, it's yes, God. Yes, yes. It's God. Yes, 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 it's God. It is all God. in the name of Jesus. Come on, the power of Jesus Christ is flowing right now. Speak through the raging source. Oh my God, it's power. Come on, God, send your power, your power, your power, your power, your power, your power, your power. power. Right now, God, yes. correction in our life. In Jesus' name, come on. Hallelujah. Warfare in our family. Hallelujah. Your family Thank members you, attacking you. Your family members trying to gossip about you. Your family members disorderly. But God, I think that yes. your power is manifesting right now. God, your yes. power, God. Come on, in the Come name on. Of your Jesus. power is dealing with our enemies. Your power is causing yes. members in our homes. Yes. Your power, God, yes, is revealing God. every evil scheme. Your power, God, yes. come on. It's causing things to come into alignment. In Jesus' name. Yes, God. God in the name of Jesus. Father. God, you, the, Lord. Amen. the Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. God, come on, than the mighty waves of the sea. Come on, God is more powerful. Come on, than the eviction notice. God is more powerful yes, than that car breaking down because you're going to fix it. Come on. He's going to even Amen. bless you with a new car. He's going to bless you with the finances to get your vehicle fixed. Come on. God will even yes. bless somebody. Come on, to, to buy you a vehicle if you need it to. I know come that's on. right. God Amen. Even, come on, increase your credit. Come on. God will even get yes, you a dealer so you can get the car that yes. you want. Come on. The car that Amen. you need in the name of Jesus. God will even touch the landlord. Car and give you a favor so you, don't, so you won't have to be on the streets in Jesus' name. God will oh, even, come on, yeah. come supernatural money to appear in your account. Yeah. Your yes, he, he will. Amen. God, get yes, ready Lord. To for somebody on this line. Come on. God, I need Probably some medication. Me. God, I need some food. God, I need this. You got to know that God is so powerful. God, come on. God, he sees the injustice. God sees the unfairness. God sees the people yes. trying to get, take advantage of people. Come on. In, 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 in this uh, pandemic, God says that an unjust scale is an abomination in his sight. And God doesn't like unjust scales. He don't like people trying to take advantage. He don't like businesses no, trying to take don't. advantage of its people. Amen? Yes. And because they're trying to take advantage of you, race and race, God said he wants you to know that Today, come on, he's going to compensate for that money, that extra Thank money. Thank you, Lord. On, Hallelujah. I receive it. I receive it. The bill went up $50. Thank you, Lord. He said, this ain't fair, God. This ain't right. And God, come on, there's so Thank many you. lawsuits that's getting ready to happen. Some of us about to be showing sure some lawsuits. Come on, some of Thank us you, Lord. I receive that. There's some lawsuits because these companies were just uh, just taking advantage and cheating and scheming. Come on, and it's going to yes. be exposed. Everybody has some money, and I prophesy. Thank prophesy you, Lord. That. In the name of Jesus. Come on. You cannot mess with a child of God and get away from it. Yeah, get, get away with it in Jesus' name. God, I thank Amen. you, Father God. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. God, we know that you are Amen. a Lord of war. You don't play when it comes to your children, Lord. We yes, are your children. Lord. And God, you Prop- see the injustice. God, Prop- you see what's going on, God. So, God, you deal with it, God. We can't get in our flesh, God. God, you deal with it. We bless our enemies. But, God, we thank That's you, God, right. for handling it, God. You handle, it, handle it, God. Handle it, Lord. You handle it, God. Amen. Because we can't get in our flesh, God. We can't go cursing. We can't go destroying stuff, God. You got it, God. We can't be going out there acting a fool, God, because we represent you. So, God, you handle it. We need you to handle it, God. You see this person it, trying to God. talk to us like they're crazy. You see this person trying to take mm. advantage of us. You handle it, God. Amen. We bless them, God. But you handle it, God, because yes. we're not going to jail. Handle we're not going to be arrested. I know that's we're right. Not do nothing crazy, God. The enemy is there to get arrested and do something crazy, get in our hearts. But we're not going to do that, God. So, God, no, you handle not. it, God. You, you deal with it, yes. God. You see these people yes. trying to use us because we're Christians. You see these people trying to act mm-hmm. crazy because we believe in you, God. You handle it, Lord. You, you get yes, that, Lord. God. Thank come you, on. Lord. I decree and declare, come on, God's about to steal the roaring of the sea. Come on, make me. Yes, maybe Lord. somebody ain't had nobody messing with you, my God. But I, I, for those yes, that people are messing with somebody on this thing, yes. you better receive this word today because God's about I to steal I receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I, I thank you, Father God. God. Yes, God, receive it, receive it. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. You're still in the, the roaring of the seas, the pounding of the waves, the tumult of yes. the nations. Come on, Lord. I don't care what the enemy's trying to plot and scheme, God. I thank you, Father God, yes. for showing up and showing out. Showing thank up you. and showing out, God. 
God, yes. you're still a raging sea. God, when the Probably. graves mount up, you steal them. Come on. This is so powerful. Yes. Well, you need to know you. that God is in control. God is in control. Yes. God is in control. Just like God Probably. controlled, come on, the Red Sea. He opened up the sea. Come on, you opened up. As Moses hold the staff up, held the staff up. He controlled the sea. He covered the enemies in water. None of them remained. You got to know this in the name of Jesus. Yes. God, yes. we thank you, Amen. Father. God, you are in control, God. Come on. You always provide a way of escape. You never put too much on us that we cannot bear, God. Lord, so we thank you for creating a way of escape. Lord, you are in control, Father. Lord, we thank you, yes, Lord. Yes. God, we thank you that you're about to get the glory, just like you hardened Pharaoh's heart, God. Lord, so you can get the glory. You're doing the same thing in our situation, Lord. And you about to get the glory, God. You about, We can't get credit. No, my mother, our father, our brothers, our sisters, our family members, our loved ones, the pastor, the preacher, no one's going to get glory except for you, God. In the That's name of right. Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord. That you are exalted forever. God, no matter what the enemy is trying to do, you are exalted. We exalt thee, Father. And God, we thank you. Even right now, God, we'll be in sync with your spirit. We'll still ourselves, God, to hear your still small voice above what we see in the natural, above the world, yes, yes. in many waters, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you will come in the storm to a whisper, and the waves of the, of the sea will be hushed. Come on, somebody will hear you saying, God, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Well, I want to prophesy. Come on, God's about to hush it now. It's about to hush. Come on, you about to see this word. It's about to hush. Come on, it's about to hush right now. Come on, it's about to hush. Come on. Yes. Money is too hard for God. Restoration is too hard for God. Deliverance is too hard for God. Break the ring too that's hard right. for God. Whatever you need. Come on. Amen. Because that demon that's harassing you is about to hush. That demon that's lying to you is going to hush. And oh my God, it's going to hush. You can't say nothing. He ain't gonna be yeah, right. is not another lie, not oh, another Lord. whisper, not another mumber. That demon's about to hush in Jesus' name. You better receive oh, this word today. The demon's not gonna harass you or torment you or vex you oh, anymore. Lord. Come on. That's yes, right. you got to hush. Unbelief, you got to hush. Come on, double mindedness, you got to hush. Every lying spirit, you got to oh, yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. You don't want to hear nothing you got the to say. Jesus. Yo, rah, shere, nothing the devil got to say. He has to hush in the name of Jesus. Matter of fact, the devil trying to muzzle us, well, we snatch that muzzle off and put it back on the enemy where it belongs in Jesus, name. in Jesus' name. Lord God, we decree and declare, come on, Isaiah 17 and 13, that the mm-hmm. nations mm-hmm. rage like the rush of many waters. God rebukes them and they flee away, driving before the wind like the chaff on the hills and the tumbleweeds before and get help. So, God, we thank you, Father God, that you're a moving, Father, as never before, God. God, we thank you. Come on. Everybody, come on. Let's cry out to God for the next few minutes. Ask God to refresh you. Ask God to show up in your life and deliver you. Just yes, call, yes. cry out for a fresh and dwelling for the next two minutes, and we'll shift. Lord God, we thank you, Lord. Fill us up, God. Come on, don't hold him back. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, yeah, pray in every language if you got it. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So I pray today's prayers bless you guys. God is good. If you like the way I pray today or the prayers, you can pray them over yourself. And pray the book over and over. The book is Warfare Strategies, Biblical Weapons. You can get it from all major retailers. Amen. So you can pray that and touch and agree. Amen. God, he comes from mighty waters in our lives. So it doesn't matter how 
strong the water seems. Amen. It's not too hard for God. It's not too powerful. You know, God speaks. He, look, one word from God can cut through all the chaos. You know, I never forget when I was in the wilderness season, I wanted to just end everything, praying to die. But I got one word from God. He said, it's not your time to die yet. And they cut through that thick layer of depression and pain and sorrow and all that crazy stuff I was feeling. All right? So I want to decree that. Come on. God's about to speak in your situation. And it's about to cut through everything you're feeling and seeing. Right? In Jesus' name. So. Um, if you want to bless the ministry, so into what we're doing, you can go to my cash app, which is dollar sign Prophetess Kimberly, or you can go to my Venmo account, which is Kimberly Moses 19, or you can go to my website, which is prophetsk.org, and so into there. We're doing some great things. We're launching a video production company, and I believe in God for a big amount of money. Amen. Um, we're going to do a lot of great things, and I hope to meet some of you guys in person, amen, and when we have these tryouts and things like that, you know, um, I, hope to, I hope to make um, great opportunities for some of you guys as well, but um, you can go to my crowdfunding link, all right, and it's on my Facebook page, and you can go there, or it's on my YouTube channel on the community tab, you can go there and see it as well, and also it's in my e-blast, so make sure you subscribe to my, my mailing list, because I'm going to send out uh, uh, the free devotional, amen, I'm working on some content, I'm going to send that out, amen, so I can be able to listen to you guys, um, so make sure you subscribe to my mailing list, you can subscribe if you go to my website, make sure you also go to uh, my magazine website, which is Rejoice Essentials, two E's together, rejoiceessential.com, read the blogs, get some blogs on there, get some prophetic words on there, uh, check out the magazine if you haven't already, you know, we work hard, me and my team, shout out to my team, you know who you are, we work hard on it every month to do something great for you guys, so make sure you check that out. Also, one of the things we're doing on March the 1st, we have a brand new uh, network coming out. We have a brand new podcasting and uh, video network, and it's Rejoice Essential Network, so we'll be on, like, Roku TV, Apple TV. Let me just pull up it so I can make sure I got all the, the things. I'm going to show you guys what we're doing. Amen. We're going to be on um, all, we got apps. So on the first of the month, you'll be able to download the Resource Essential Network app and keep to, uh, in touch with us. It's going to be on iTunes, Spotify, uh, Fire TV, Android TV, Samsung Smart TV, LG Smart TV, Alexa. Oh, you know, Alexa. I like this. I can't wait for that one. Xbox, PlayStation. You know, we're going to be everywhere. iHeartRadio, uh, Chromecast, AirPlay. You know, Google Play, we're going to be, like, pretty much everywhere. And, man, so I'm excited about just expanding the magazine, and I want to prophesy. This is our season of expansion. So just get ready. If God do it for me, God will definitely do it for you. And, man, we want to bring great content to you guys. Um, also, i got two new books for pre-order, you know, The Foolish Woman, The Daily Devotional, and The Insignificant Woman. But you pre-order the book and support. And Wednesday night, I will be giving the word. So I'm excited about that. Like, it's my first time since we started the word, you know, in prayer. So I'll be the guest speaker Wednesday night, and uh, I can't wait. So I'm so excited. And next week, we're going to be starting a new series on my YouTube membership, The Prophets in the Bible. So make sure you sign up for my YouTube membership. I know there's a lot going on, but God is good. God is good. And don't forget to get your T-shirt at rejoiceandbeauty.com. Intercessors at war are on blessing this man, so you can't stay small in God. Make sure you get your shirt to support the ministry. Amen. So I'm going to unmute. If anybody got a, a praise report or a testimony, let's go ahead and, you know, give the devil a black eye. Let's testify. Amen. Let's testify. Seriously. And I'm so excited about what God is doing. So let's get a few testimonies, and then we'll serve and take some prayer requests. Amen? Let's see. Anyone got a praise report to share to encourage us today? Anyone got a testimony? Hey, God bless you. All right, let's get Miss Angela. Hi. You heard her first. Okay. Hello, um, this is Angela. Uh, I just want to thank God um, for my book writing class um, that God gave me some students um, that I taught it Saturday, and it was very enjoyable. Um, and it was um, the, the, the some of the one of two um, one of the um, students was so excited when she got through that she immediately started writing her book. You know, oh, right after you know we got out of class. So I just thank God for that door that He's opened, and I thank God for the, me being obedient and stepping out and doing what He has, has required for me to do. I just thank God for that. Amen. Oh, man, thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
church, I'll just say who it is, um, T.D. Jakes, because I know he does seduction, and the other day I called Tyler Perry. Jesus. I got to leave a message, but I got no call back, and I just felt like God had been urging me, pushing me, you were doing so much better. You got distracted when you got away from your tongue of fire. Uh, even though you go to church on Zoom when you're supposed to go. But I will get this message to you, this information to you. What this man of God did, he's no longer here. How he set the tone and he died at an early age for the kingdom of God, for the citizens, for what you're doing right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the divine connection. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 To God be all the glory. So your production so your production company is like who, how, Lord, how do I get it? Who do I go to? <laughs> but you see, Amen. some people do uh, secular, and you see, where's the church? Right. Where's the church? Yeah. Even for the reality TV, we, the people of God, should be able to, the women of God, the men of God, dress up and show the order of God. Amen. In, Je- in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. I will get it. Amen. For y- Amen. I look forward to reading it, woman of God, and helping any way I can. Amen. For y'all don't know that I am a publisher, and um, I, that's one of the things we do. I just try to push people, uh, uh, content, and promote. Amen. Me and my husband are uh, promoters. Amen. Influencers. Amen. So, um, but Amen. anyone got another press report? Um, yes, I do. Um, this is Larissa. I'm the woman that. Um, Prophetess Angela was speaking of about the, the book thing. I was in her class, and um, I, that was my testimony. <laughs> I was, <laughs> that was my testimony, and and uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Prophetess um, Candy Jones for sending me this link today because as soon as I came in, you, you began to prophesy about some things that were going on in my life. And I was just in prayer all morning about these things. And when I got on the line, you gave confirmation. And um, I'm just grateful. Very Amen. grateful. Amen. All glory goes to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Thank God. You, Lord. Woo, woo. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. All right, so prayer family, if anyone on here needs prayer, push star six. And prayer family, please pray for them as they go forth. Please touch and agree because there's power in agreement. God says to touch and agree on earth about anything, he will do it. Amen. So things will be established. And, yeah, so I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get this woman of God. How you doing, Melissa? Melissa? You got to unmute yourself. Hello? Oh, hey, God bless you. Hello. 
Okay. Uh, well, I got the corona, but I'm good. Oh, wow. I'm good. Sorry it's not, not, yeah, it's not a good deal. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm Your phone is muffled a little bit. Can you hear me better? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hi. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm doing fine. I'm healing up. Um, I just found out I had it yesterday, but I kind of knew a few days before that because of my wow. symptoms. But I'm doing good. I'm no fever. I'm just congested. But um, um, I just wanted to thank you for the prayer. And um, I, I'm one in that with the smoking. I'm asking for prayer for that. Um, I've been praying on it myself. I want to, you know, I want to stop smoking. I've been smoking since I was a child. Um, and it's just, it's so hard to, to stop, you know. I've been able to stop being pregnant, um, but I can never do it for myself. Um, so I just want to ask a prayer for that. Um, and um, just thank you for the prayer today. It was amazing. Yeah, bless God. And, uh, so if we're going to pray, and, uh, oh, go ahead. And um, I want to ask a prayer. Um, I think I was trying to get a prayer for my daughter, my youngest. Um, she, she, try, she doesn't want to continue school. Like she's going to graduate in high school, but I think her problem is she suffered all her life with a learning disability, and I think that's what keeping her from wanting to continue school. So, like, she okay. wants to do stuff, but when it has to do with school, like, I tell her, I'm like, you still need to get college credit. She's, like, shying out of it. She doesn't want to do it. So I just I just want her to have, you know, to, to for me to be able to give her that guidance. You know, I've been talking yeah. to her, and I just want her to figure something out. Cause I, I know she would be, you know, she would be great at whatever she decides to do, I should think. She doesn't have the confidence. Amen. Amen. So I just want to tell you two Amen. two testimonies, and I'm going to tell it so God can duplicate it, because I know when I testify, God will do it again, right? Amen. So first thing about cigarettes, um, my husband, he smoked like a chain smoker, and he was not living for God, but for some reason, he was just watching television, and I want to pray this over, like, you and just anyone else that's mm-hmm. with addictions, that uh, the TV turned on or commercial, and he heard a preacher that's no longer here. He was like, cigarette is your God, you know, and that got his attention. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> and it was uh, Zachary <laughs> Timms. I don't know if you remember Zachary Timms, but he was a uh, renowned minister a few years ago. But anywho, he, he died, but uh, he heard Zachary Timms say, cigarette is your God. So then he was oh, praying, like, God, let me stop smoking because it, it was expensive, you know. And mm-hmm. he stepped out in faith and just threw the cigarettes away, and he never smoked again. You know, God delivered him like that, you know. So I want to decree that. Mm-hmm. And as far as school go, you know, like when I was in high school, I was, a, I was stripping in high school because I was 18 in my senior year. So I was a stripper oh, wow. in high school. Mm-hmm. So I barely graduated. Like everybody, like all my seniors in the senior class, they – Got out, they graduated early, but I had to complete two extra weeks and graduate with everybody else to finish, you know, my high school mm-hmm. year. And I hated school. I didn't want to go to school, but I went, you know, signed up first semester college. I made all F's my first semester mm-hmm. in college, and that hit me. And then shortly after that, I, I, I got saved. And living for Jesus, my grades went from an F to A's. And then I started making dean lists, like dean lists and president's lists and all that stuff. At school. Wow. So if I know God did it for me. God can do it for your daughter. And she'll have an interest wow. for going to school. But So let's pray. Amen. Father, we pray right now for Melissa's daughter. We pray right now that she, God, will just uh, seek you, Father God. Get God, he should develop a relationship with you, Father. Amen. And that you will bless her to walk in the spirit of excellence, God. And just uh, bless her, God, to do things unto you. Her school will just be unto you, mm-hmm. and that she will excel, God, in her school, and she will have a desire, God, mm-hmm. to apply herself, God. When I was in school, I didn't apply myself. I didn't know I had a brain, God, to be honest. You know that, Father. And, God, show her daughter that she has a brain 
and that when she applies herself, she can do anything. She accomplishes herself. Uh, she can. She can. She can complete anything she put her mind to, Father. So show her daughter that she can do great things in life. Bless her daughter to take heed to her mother's counsel. God, bless her to uh, listen to her mother, become against any rebelliousness in the name of Jesus Christ and God. Lord, bless her to uh, focus on you and not try to grow up too fast or try to, you know, blend in with the world, but bless her to apply herself and show her, God, that uh, it's, it's harder to make it, God, without a degree or without an education, Lord. So show her daughter, God, uh, just the true father, show her daughter uh, that you have great things and great plans for her life, father. So bless her to be able to graduate high school. We just come against uh, talk, crazy talk where she just don't want to apply herself or she want to drop out. God, we come against that, that sabotage spirit that will try to destroy her life and make her want to drop out of high school. Bless her to go to college, God. You said, God, when we delight ourselves in you, you will give us the desires of our heart. So that is her, that's Melissa's Johnson. That's her, her desire for her daughter to, her daughters, her family, her children to excel in life. So, God, we pray right now that you would just move, Father. God, when my son was fell in the third grade, we fasted and prayed, and you blessed my son to make straight, you blessed him to go from straight B's to straight A's. So, I know that if you did it for my son, you can do it for her daughter in the name of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, we just lift up uh, Melissa. We come against COVID. We come against um, sickness and disease. Right now, we decree over Melissa that she will live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. So, God, we pray right now healing over her right now, healing, healing right now in her body. We curse death. We curse premature death in the name of Jesus Christ. And, God, we just come against any complications from COVID. Right now, in Jesus' name, any damage this virus will try to do to her lungs, we curse it now in Jesus' name. God, as I was praying, God, you showed me someone that was smoking that uh, the enemy would try to cause cancer and just things like that. We come against cancer. We come against nicotine addiction. Break that off of her, God. God, set her free, God. Lord, that she'll be able to go cold turkey, God, and not even desire or crave the yeah. cigarettes, God. But, God, we thank you, Father God, that you are touching her taste buds, that you are touching her, Father God, where she won't even crave it, God. But, God, we thank you that, Lord, that you are just drawing her closer to you as never before, God, and protecting her, God. And, God, even though she uh, smoked since she was a little girl, God, we thank you that you break those strongholds. You break it off of her in the name of Jesus Christ, God. You have healed so many people, God, and delivered so many people from smoking cigarettes. And, God, we thank you that Melissa is no different. So, God, we ask you to move by your power right now, God, and touch her body, God. Heal her right now from her head down to her feet in the name of Jesus Christ. And just give her strength, Father God. Protect her. Protect her children. Protect her husband, God. Lord, bless them to be uh, safe. Don't let nobody die in this family from COVID. Don't let nobody be taken out of here, God, from COVID, God. Protect them now in Jesus' name, Lord. And bless them to recover strongly, God. Let, yes, God, let them feel your peace and your presence every single day. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. God bless you, woman of God. Thank you. All right, Hinesville, Georgia. Your last floor is 1161. Tell me your name, please. Hey, this is Markeisha. Oh, God bless you. How are you? I'm fine. How you doing? Good. Um, I just need prayer. Um, just basically, um, my family and division and the backbiting and the talking and, you know, just it's starting to overwhelm me. Okay. Father, you're so good. And, Lord, we know that in our time of need, we can come to your throne boldly and take mercy and grace in our time of need. So, God, we just ask you right now, give this woman of God mercy and grace right now, God. Give her strength, Father, so she will not be overwhelmed, God. We come against uh, division. Mm. We come against strife. We come against disunity. We come against miscommunication in this home. We come against uh, disrespect. We even bind up any witchcraft, any attacks from Satan. We bind it up in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask you right now to touch the head of the house, the priesthood of this home, God, and deliver him, Father, in the name of Jesus. And, God, do a heart check, a transformation, and that it will be order in this house, God, that a husband will love his wife as Christ loves the church. And um, it will be order in the home, Father. We come against any disorder, and God, we command things to come into order with the word of God. 
God, we pray right now just for submission with the family, the kids, Father God, that they will submit, God, and respect and honor, God, the woman of God. God, we ask you right now just to give her peace. Let her peace be so full, God. And, God, give, bless her prayer life, God. Bless her to keep praying and pushing and plowing, God. God, we just thank you, Father God, that she will just get in that secret place as never before, and she will hear your voice and just give her comfort and give her strength, Father, as never before, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you right now that she won't get overwhelmed or distracted, God, by the cares of this world, but you will bless her, God, to win her family over with her godly conduct. God, we just come against any arguing, God, and God, we come against selfishness in this home, selfishness and selfish ambition and strife and envy. Lord, you said wherever this uh, this strife and uh, envy or strife or selfish ambition, there's confusion and every evil work. We bind it up in Jesus' name. And God, we seek peace in this home. And Lord, we just decree and declare that our family is yielded to you, our home is yielded to you, that our home is a safe haven, a, a sanctuary, God, that your presence will flow so smooth, God, in and out that home, God. God, I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name and woman of God. Do you have any oil, anointing oil? I do. All right. When was the last time you anointed your home and everything in the home? Well, since we moved here, um, I haven't. And um, and and I I kind of didn't go into detail. But when I said family is more like um like my mom, her sister, my aunt, um, my yeah. uncle, and it's you know, and it's really them, but it's like starting to affect, you know, like the children, like all the first cousins. And it's just, you know, how you, like for me, um, just even growing up, I always confided in my aunt, but it's just yeah. coming out like, you know, when I be, when I'm talking to her about something, even my recent marriage and everything, even before yeah. that. So come to find out, she basically was going around telling people that. And um, even in the past, and maybe I should have been stopped talking to her because even in the past when um I wasn't working, it was the same aunt that was, you know, um kind of telling people that I was selling my body and stuff. And, um you know, I forgave yeah. her for it, you know. So, but it's like, it come to find out, it's like she's stuff that I confided, confided in her with, even things that I didn't say, she, you know, like running, telling this person, this person, and it's getting back to me, and I don't want to say anything to her, you know. And it's hard not well, to. Well, I, yeah, I so my know. advice is, 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 you know, like, in your marriage, you know, it's God, mm-hmm. your husband, and you, and nobody else. And I know right. how it is, like, you have these nosy in-laws or not even your your family, too, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, they can be used by the enemy and not even know it. So you just got to, you love them from a distance. You don't owe nobody no explanation, okay. but, you you know, if you have to block some family, do that for a season or two because it's going to cause chaos and it's going to overwhelm you. And God tells us in his word to guard our heart because out of our heart flows the issues of life. So you have to guard your heart. If you know somebody's toxic, even though they've blood, you know, cut cut them off. Cut it off for a season, right. you know, so you can right. keep your own sanity and she won't plant seeds of discord because it's not like she, she's doing that, you know. And, like, when you get, especially when you're married and you're newlywed, not everybody's going to be happy for you. Like, when I was right. a newlywed, you know, I had to block a friend. I thought she was my friend, and she was my girl. She helped me move out of my, my apartment. And, you know, we was going, we had so much in common, you know. And mm-hmm. I had to block her because she tried to cause discord in my marriage. She tried to talk about my husband. I'm like, oh, no. You know, me and my husband are one. You can't talk about him. Right. You talk about him, you talk about me. You know, so I had to block right. her, and that was it. You know, so they have to respect you. They have to respect your, your spouse. They have to respect your boundaries. They may not agree. They may not like it. But you know what? You mm-hmm. owe nobody no explanation. So if she's causing, you know, just being toxic, I would mm-hmm. just cut her off. You know, like she can't call your phone. She can't have access to you. Like, no, ma'am, you can't. No, I'm sorry. You know, because oh. you, you still in my peace and you're spreading lies. And, you know, right. and, and then she could, she could talk all she want to talk. But well, God does prepare mm-hmm. a table, you know, in the presence of the enemy. So as you cut that toxic stuff off, and just keep mm-hmm. seeking God and just pray for her. Just keep blessing her and praying for her. We don't wish nothing bad on her. You, you'll you'll right. see God just bless you guys and turn things around. And then, you oh. know, she can't speak evil of your well doing. She can't speak. You know, she could try, but it's just not going right. to stick. It's just like, whatever. <laughs> you see God blessing me. Right. I don't care what you say. You know, so okay. that's how you deal with that. 
So you you know you have an advantage because you know what the source is. You know who's being taught right. it. Mm-hmm. So you, you got to use your power. That got to get in wisdom. You know, I love you, Auntie. You know, I did confide in you and told you some vulnerable things, you know, that I was going through. But, you know, you've proven yourself unfaithful. You've proven yourself untrustworthy. You know, you turned mm-hmm. on me. You know, you were my familiar. We broke bread together. And you allowed right. an enemy to, you know, to cause division in my life and to, to steal my peace and joy. I should be happy. I'm a right. newlywed. But you trying to cause right. me this pain. Like, you know, so you got to guard mm-hmm. your heart. And it starts with okay. hitting that black button, <laughs> you know. And even if you show Facebook following you, hit that uh, delete button or block button on Facebook, you know. Okay. I, I would I would do that for my own sanity. Like she she only have no access to you. Anybody with that um, and it's unfruitful. We talked about unfruitfulness, right? That's unfruitful, right? Because she already right. got her mind made up, and she you know she's against you, you know, and mm-hmm. she can't say it's love. You know, like, right. it, it's a thin love. It's a thin line between love and hate. Like, people love you today and right. hate you tomorrow. You know, like, mm-hmm. Cain killed his own brother. So, just like, come on, right? So, right. I would just put boundaries, you know. And, 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 and if you ever, like, go to a family function, you'd be cordial with, hi. But, you know, you can't right. call me. No. You know, I, I forgive you, but you can't have access to me because I know you're messy. Until you get delivered exactly. and saved and really walk with the Lord, then we have nothing really to talk about. Right? Right. How you doing? Right. You can be brief. I'm I'm well. We're blessed. All is well. You don't gotta go on the beat right. you or nothing. You know, I don't care if you if you're going through a, a, a major trial, I, she will never know, right? right. She she's right. not trustworthy. Right. Okay. So you you know what to do. Amen. Right. I say right. you blessed. You know, God got some amazing things for you. Enjoy your family, enjoy your marriage, right? You're a newlywed girl. Right. You know, right. it's a happy time, you know? Don't let right. nobody shine on your parade, uh, like, right. talk on your parade. That's a better thing. Don't let nobody mess up with God, your blessing because of messiness mm-hmm. and drama. You, you know, I don't do drama. Like, you know, so you right. set that boundary. That's a boundary she violated. You know, messy, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> right. You know, I love you, Auntie, but you're a mess. I'm going right. to pray for you. Okay. Okay. All right. And God bless you. you. Okay. You're welcome. So, you guys, if you can get prayer today, please call back in tomorrow. We will pray for you. I love you guys. Jesus loves you more, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.